Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. So if you guys couldn't already tell by the title, today's video is going to be something that has been highly requested for the past few months, which is my go-to makeup look. Let me backtrack. Uh, this video actually will be a combination of somewhat of a review as well as kind of my go-to style or look for makeup. Um, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. This video was something that was somewhat difficult for me because as you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I struggle on and off with acne. And so right now, this is one of my breakout periods, like, you know, where I'm just like really stressed out and so my face is reacting to that. So this is a really difficult video for me, but I'm gonna do it because I know that I'm not the only one who struggles with acne. I know there's other girls out there who follow me who also struggle with it. Despite how your face might be reacting to something, I want you guys to feel confident that you're still beautiful despite those breakouts. So with that said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing, of course, that we normally do is wash our face and put on moisturizer. So I've already done that. I've already put on my CeraVe. I still use the CeraVe moisturizer. Of course, after moisturizing and applying the oil, I put on a primer. So the primer that I used um, is the Smashbox uh, photo finish primer. After I finish applying the Smashbox photo finish primer, I actually follow up with another primer. And I know that's like kind of weird. You guys are probably like, why do you use two primers? That's just something I find that works best for my makeup, for my face. Um, but I typically follow up with the NYX uh, first base spray before I actually apply my foundation. However, today, since I do have a new product that's technically a primer, I'm going to replace the NYX first base and actually use this primer. Um, so this primer is by Black Up, and if you guys can see here, it is a strobing primer. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand before, but this brand actually is sold in Sephora. So, you know, when they actually sent me their products, I was like, I have to try this out. Like, I really want to try it out. I've heard so much about it, but I've never purchased anything from them before. So, perfect opportunity, right? The color that I'm using is Strobe P. This is my first time opening it, so this, literally this is like a first impression. Uh, Oh, okay. So it's even though it's like a, it's like a, it's a pump. That's different. It's like in a tube, but it's technically a pump. That's really different. I've never seen that before. But I actually love pumps, so this actually will, this might work out. Let's see. Right off the bat, I thought it would be oily, but it's not oily. So that's that's good. Thing we'll do uh is actually focus on the brows so i'm actually going to i know you guys are going to be upset with me but i'm going to do my brows offline because they just take way too long to do but i'm actually going to show you guys what i use first and then i'll do them offline and come back the first thing i do with my brows because my brows are really unruly it, i don't have much up there but the ones that are up there are really unruly they just get all over the place so i actually use the brow primer by nyx and then once that dries, I actually follow it up with the BH Cosmetics Brow Pencil. And then to shade in the inside of the brows, I actually use the MAC Eyeshadow uh, Brown Down. And then, of course, to clean up under the brows, I use the uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer. So these are like my go-to products for brows. Um, like I said, I am going to do this off camera just because it's going to take a while. However, if you guys are interested in seeing an actual tutorial on how I do my brows, just let me know and I will do one. So, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so now we'll move on to eyeshadow. First product that I use to apply my eyeshadow um, is of course my eyeshadow base. And so the base that I use is the NYX eyeshadow base. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before. It's just in a color white. So yeah, after I apply my base, I actually take my all-time favorite, my Morphe 35O palette. I know you guys have heard so much about this palette. This palette is the truth, especially for like warm tones. Like today, today I'll take this top one here. I actually use more of a precision brush to do this just because I'm lazy and it's easier to apply it this way. So I'm using the BH Cosmetics 12 brush. actually take the same palette and I go in with this brown color right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I go in with this brown color right here. Um, take just a little bit of it 
dust it off and apply that in the crease of my eye. Okay, so now that we're done with eyeshadow, I typically would apply my lashes right now. However, I'm still a newbie to putting on lashes and I'm horrible at it. So for today's video, I am going to skip it because I don't feel like it's necessary. All right, so foundation. Um, if you guys did not watch my previous video that I posted last week for my summer favorites, um, I did post two foundations, like full coverage foundations that I'm absolutely loving. However, those foundations are really, really heavy, so I don't wear those on a daily basis. If I do wear makeup, I typically will wear my Studio Fix Fluid by MAC. Um, and so I actually mix two colors together because they do not have my perfect shade, obviously. Um, so the colors that I use are NC47 and NC50. So yeah, we'll start with NC50. So I take a little bit of NC50 and it, NC50 has an orange undertone. So I apply it in the areas that are a little darker. So like right in here. Uh, top of my lip right there and then like around my forehead area and then the inside of my face I use NC 47 because it's a little lighter Uh, today we are going to use one of the best brushes I've ever used in my life for foundation. Um, this is, it's real beat up so y'all don't judge me, uh, but this is the Morphe E31 brush. Um, it is a flat top buffer brush for foundation or liquid foundation I should say. What I typically do is I take the brush and I actually take the matte finish NYX spray and I spray the brush just a little bit. Give it a little whiff. And then I just go ahead and blend out the foundation. Now that we got the base on the face, uh, we can move on to the next part which would be, of course, concealer. Y'all already know, I also talked about this in my Summer Favorites video, this Shape Tape Concealer. This was heaven sent. The color that I use for under eye concealing is Tan Sand. I typically take, I mean, when I say a little bit, you only need a little bit of this concealer. Literally, a dab, put it right there, and then I blend it out. So my camera decided to die mid-sentence, literally. So what I did while the camera charged just a little bit, I did apply some lashes to my face. Yeah, so the lashes that I'm wearing today are the Faux Mink Ardell uh, lashes. So we'll go ahead before the camera dies again and show you guys once again how I apply the concealer. Taking a dab and putting it in the corner of my eye. That's all you need right there, literally. So once I have the concealer where I want it, I actually take, I use two different um, setting power, powders, but these two work for me like gold during the summertime. So I actually use Ben Nye Luxury Powder and Camel, and I also use the Ben Nye Neutral Set Luxury Powder. So I take a little bit, I put it on my hand, and then I take this uh, Morphe M500, like a tulip brush, and I take, Camel, and I, I follow right after with the uh, neutral set. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm actually, while this is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my face just a little bit. So I take the Blunt Blush by MAC and I actually use this as a contour. Also take the Morphe M180 brush. It's like a, it's kind of dirty y'all. I need to, I need to clean all my brushes, so don't judge me. Now 
Now we're gonna take the BH Cosmetics brush in 113 and actually just remove this excess Benai powder from the face. So now that we've done that, I actually take the excess, what I just removed on, from my face and just kind of blend out some of my oily areas. All this is said and done, I typically would apply some highlighter on the high points of my cheeks. However, when I break out, I don't like to put highlighter on my face just because I feel like it just accentuates the acne bumps on my face. So I just steer clear of that. However, I will do some type of blush that has a little bit of golden undertones in it. So um, today I am actually going to use a new product. Uh, this is also from Black Up and it is their Sublime Powder. Uh, people use this for, I don't know if you guys can see it, people use it for a blush. People also use it as a setting powder. Today I'm going to use it as a blush. Once we take the Morphe B47, yeah, the Morphe B47 brush. It is a blush brush. I'm going to apply some highlights to my brow bone. I don't know if you guys have been seeing that lately, but I really like how it looks. This was actually also in my favorite video. My all time favorite highlighter brick. Um, this is by Makeup Revolution and it is the Shimmer Brick Rose Gold. I actually take the three from the top row and blend them together like so. Then I actually blend it out just a little bit. You don't want it to be too harsh. So I take one of the M519 that I used earlier and just kind of blend it out just a little bit. Now that we're done doing that, I'm actually going to follow up with eyeliner and then I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, y'all, so here's the finished look. Um, so I did go ahead and put my earrings on, you know what I'm saying? I did apply a little bit of that brick highlight uh, in the inner corner crease of my eyes and then also on my nose. Uh, so the look is pretty much finished. Um, I typically, the last thing I do is apply a little bit of the matte finish, photo finish uh, spray. <laughs> apply a little bit of the spray on my face and then obviously the last thing you gotta do is put your lip on. Honestly, this look is so basic that you could do a really bright lip or you could do a really calm lip. It all depends on your mood. So today's mood for me, I want something really bright. I'm going to take the Colored Rain uh, Cherry Blossom Red Lip as well as the Colored Rain Electric Rain Lipstick and mix the two together to make a really pretty reddish orange color. All right, y'all, that's it. That's the full face, everyday makeup look. Um, before we, of course, close out, my verdict on the two products that I somewhat reviewed in this video, I really, really like this Sublime uh, bronzer or blush bronzer, whatever it is. Really like this, I'll probably use this way more than not. It has like an orange undertone, which is really good for a blush. Really like this a lot. The strobing primer, I can't really give a verdict on it yet just because I'm just now putting my makeup on. And I feel like once the makeup sets in, that's really when you can do a true review of a product, right? So what I'll probably do is actually take this over to my Insta Snap. I'll wear this makeup for the rest of the day and then actually post on my Insta Snap my final verdict on this primer. Well, yeah, that concludes this video. Um, if you guys have any specific questions about any products that I use in this video, uh, please feel free to comment down below in the comment section uh, and ask away and I will definitely answer your questions. 
that's really it. Thank you guys so much for bearing with me. I'm quite sure this video is super long because I'm talking through most of it. Um, but yeah, until next time, thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye. Wow, wow, wow. When would you I Wow. When I was you.